Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock, it's the biggest story we've ever done in a Guitar Hero game. Quest Mode opens up with the demigod of rock and his legendary guitar, who is everything that rock and roll embodies, which is the spirit, the attitude, the vibe. And he's battling the beast. And the beast is a lumbering, mechanical, soulless creature. Essentially, he's the enemy of rock and roll. The beast defeats the demigod, entombs him in a granite prison. Even though he can't move and he's entombed, he calls out to his Guitar Hero warriors. By earning enough power stars, you'll try to transform eight Guitar Hero characters into their warrior alter ego. The Demigod of Rock is voiced by Gene Simmons, so he's actually the narrator of the game. Gene has an alter ego, he's the demon. When he steps out on stage, he transforms as a member of KISS. This rocker believes he has what it takes to join the quest. In all honesty, my favorite Guitar Hero moment is realizing that Gene Simmons is gonna be a part of Guitar Hero that involves the eternal battle between good and evil set against the backdrop of a rock spectacle. While you're playing through this epic larger than life rock fest that we have going on, we really wanted to focus on tracks that were fun to play on guitar first and foremost. And then thematically, we wanted everything to fit as well. The venues are all crafted after the characters. They'll each have a custom soundtrack that fits their style. And each of these different characters has a unique game-changing power. Johnny Napalm transforms into this blue metal mutant version of himself who can teleport across the stage. He has a power called Speed Freak, and his power allows you to never go below a 2x multiplier. Pandora is more like a new metal goth. She transforms into a night elf. Lars Umlaut, all about death metal. He is shock rock personified. He transforms into a pig beast. His power is Multiplier Extender. Axel Steel, his power is Resurrector, and he transforms into this really scary mummy, busts out of a sarcophagus. Come forward now, Axel, and reap the benefits of your new power. The ultimate culmination of the game is when you're taking on the beast. You've got eight rockers, and you can figure them into your two bands with the right set of powers to get you through those songs. The final battle is the demigod of rock, all eight powers taking on the beast. If you win that, you defeated the beast, the demigod has his own uh, special chapter. So you've unlocked six or eight of the hardest songs in the game. You also get the chance to play domination mode. So now you can go back in every single one of the other chapters with the legendary guitar. If you've complete any of the character's chapters in domination mode, you're gonna unlock all kinds of cool stuff. I learned a long time ago that people listen with their eyes. So the magic of Guitar Hero is not only that the book is great, the storyline, the characters, and the obstacles they have to overcome, but the imagery is over the top. Guitar Hero rocks.